Howdy friends! Happy Wednesday! It is Wednesdays with the Weibles. I'm Mary. And I'm Andre. And we are uh, the Weibles. <laughs> <This is laughs> we are our... Wednesdays with the Weibles. <laughs> this is the Weibles Vegan Kitchen. And uh, we make amazing vegan recipes for you guys. And we're here to do that again today. We go live every Wednesday around this time. And we show you amazing recipes. So um, today we're going to be making chocolate peanut butter no-bake cookies oh. and these are my absolute favorite. I say that like every single time that <laughs> it's my favorite. She's like, this, Guys, is, we this love is absolutely food, one so. of our favorite recipes. And it, is. We did, it, it is. All the recipes are our favorite. Yeah. So. But no-bake cookies are really awesome because they're super easy. You can like throw them together in at most like 30 mm -hmm. minutes and so it's just really easy. So Delicious. let's go ahead and get started. Okay. And take it away. And we're going at it. <laughs> okay, so first we're obviously going to start out with oats. I guess I'll just give you guys like a really quick like list of the ingredients. Very simple ingredients. Um, I have thick rolled oats. You can also use instant oats, but oats nonetheless. They can also be gluten free. These ones are not. These are thick rolled oats. Um, we use coconut sugar. You guys can also use granulated sugar if you'd like. Hi, Steven. Um, Hi, Steven. We use coconut sugar, and so that's what we're using today. Um, carob powder, you can also use cocoa powder cocoa if you powder. want. Um, really any... We just had carob powder laying around. Yeah, we're, you know? we're going to use this yeah. up before we buy anything else. Yes. Um, but carob powder, and then we also have some vanilla extract, uh, plant milk, whichever one you would like. Hi, Tara! Uh, whichever Hi, Tara. plant milk you'd like you use, you can use that. We have flax milk. Um, it also calls, obviously, for peanut butter, creamy peanut butter, um, and then the vegan butter here. This is just to add a little bit of oil. You can also use coconut oil. Um, it just helps to, like, you know, hold everything together when you put it in the fridge. Um, and, I don't know, vegan butter tastes really good with it, but like I said, coconut tastes oil. Tastes just so. like regular butter. Yeah. So, there's food with that. So. People <laughs> have trouble giving up butter. Right. Because, I mean, margarine or whatever. It, like it vegetable. Is, is like vegetable oil. oil. Yeah. It, it I mean, that's like butter, essentially the same so thing. So, make the switch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to start with three cups of rolled oats. I keep moving the spatula. I was like, do you need to take that? <laughs> <laughs> I will move Okay. That. So, three whopping cups. Andre's standing here with me just Moral as moral support. support. <laughs> She's the one that does this like every time. Just like, do you want me to hang out in here with you? I was yeah. expecting her to say no, and she was like, yeah. Well, <laughs> I was of like, course. Right. <laughs> cool. The presence is just very soothing. Oh, but you know what would be really thanks. awesome? What's up? If you want to turn the air conditioning on. I would do that. Yeah, it's hot here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, my face is getting a little hot. <laughs> um, so three... Uh, Three coops, three scoops of oats. Uh, again, these are rolled oats. You can use instant oats as well. Um, for the coconut sugar, you're going to put one and a half cups. So a little bit, no, exactly half of what you put in for the coconut sugar. And guys, if you've ever used coconut sugar, you know that this stuff like settles in whatever container it's in. So I have to like break it up a little bit. Good grief. Yes. I don't know about y'all. I don't. I feel like coconut sugar doesn't taste a whole bunch like coconut. I mean, I know that's what it's made of, but I don't. I don't get like a strong coconutty flavor. It's just sweet to me. I don't know. Some people are really aware of coconut taste, like my brother-in-law Austin, <laughs> uh, call out. calling him out. <laughs> he can taste and smell any coconut in anything. He's very perceptive a with his very senses. sensitive palate. <laughs> yes. Sensitive in a good way. In the way that he likes to eat. In the way that he likes to eat. <laughs> we love him. <laughs> We're not at all like to talk. Okay, so one and a half cups. I might have to stab at it. I was again. gonna say, I can Okay, so there's be one. Your stabber. <laughs> I'm gonna help. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And then half, you just put half in there. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm going to do this off cam. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Catherine. Catherine. Hi, Catherine. <laughs> so formal. Hello, Catherine. Hi, Catherine. <laughs> okay, so with the carrot powder slash cocoa powder, you're going to put in um, one third of a cup. I'm, I'm not going to measure it out, but that's how much you put in. I've made these so many times, you guys. I'm just like eyeballing it. 
at this point. A true oh, chef. Shit. Oh. <laughs> As well, I say, a true a chef. A true chef. I'll just I take mean, a little bit out. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just put more sugar in there. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> I am a genius. You are such a genius. Thank you. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No <laughs> problem. No problem. Whatever. <laughs> oh, darn. I did not what expect it to like. Kind of, avalanche kind of clumped in there a little yeah. bit. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. So I just try, when I put the sugar in, uh, I know we're still adding sugar, but when I put it in there, I just like to kind of mix it around first, obviously. Just mix your dry ingredients with, uh, yeah, drink that fizz. <laughs> That's what I did. My blood orange fizz. Andre was like, man, I'm kind of feeling like it's fizz o'clock. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> Agreed. Mm. It sounded way cooler than that. But, uh, Definitely way cooler in person. <laughs> so cool. So mix your dry ingredients together. Half a half of them. Oh. Yeah, not well, a full cup. I was putting just more. Half. No. In there. No. I'm gonna put We're in the. We're just gonna. Yep. That's fine. You could do that too. Yep. Um. This is the. Wow, I just swallow. Sorry, the vanilla extract, and then it's like just a dash. You all know. Just a bloop. That's good. That's usually what, That's what it takes. That's the official measurement unit. Just a bloop. Unit. And it's like two seconds of pouring and then you're done. Anyway. Okay. So I'm going to kind of mix that up. And then we're going to go in with the peanut butter. The peace day resistance. The peace day resistance. Peace day resistance. You need a spoon? Oh, yeah. I thought this one was already open. No. Dang it. Come on. Oh wow. That okay. Was a very clean peel. Very clean. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. Opening up those peanut butter jars. And see, this is what I'm talking about, guys. It says no stir, but you obviously have to stir. And I've seen like. She gets really upset about that. It's just false exciting. advertising. It's false Guys, advertising. we've done like chocolate and peanut butter videos for the past like three weeks, and so I've been working with our freaking peanut butter. Just saying. Very frustrating. <laughs> but I've seen people do crazy hacks. Like, tell me your crazy hack to stir up the peanut butter in the comments. But I saw, hi <laughs> Brittany, um, I saw someone hook up like one of those little, you know, the beaters, like the hand, hand beater thing. Mm -hmm. They <laughs> they put it uh, in a drill and they just kind of went burr, 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 and it stirred it up. I, I mean, Guys, I'm sure that would get the job It done. did it, it did. Okay, I'm done stirring. This instrument. Go ahead. It's, it's just very oily. It's oily. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's not subtle. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's what we think of secretions. Okay. No. We're gonna stop now. <laughs> okay, it's just about so two. So I went too far, but not. <laughs> <either. laughs> okay, we're gonna put two thirds a cup of peanut butter in there. I just, I put a lot of peanut butter in there. To be honest, I'd say that's a good amount. Yeah, y'all saw how much. I'd say that's a good amount. That's more. Two thirds to a cup. Okay, and then if it's too dry, they do say to put like just a a few dashes of so your plant milk in there. Well, I just got peanut butter all over my wrist. Darn. Hot. <laughs> what? Lick it off. <laughs> oh. Are you spit oh shoot, y'all! I almost forgot. I almost forgot one of the most important parts. But it was already done. So you're gonna add how much is this? Oh yeah, a half a cup of butter. So we have that or butter coconut. made from plants, the melt organic kind. We got it from Sprouts. It's coconut, coconut butter? No. Something like that. No, it's made of a bunch of different oils. It has coconut. Sustainable ethical palm fruit, canola, mm. high oleic sunflower, and flaxseed oil. It's a it's an organic oil blend. Well, there's water, salt, sunflower, lecithin, natural flavor, tocopherols, organic annatto extract, color. But it says no artificial colors or flavors. So you know how deceptive those <laughs> those <laughs> labels can uh. be. Would you take this for me? Yes. Careful, I may be hot. So I'm gonna splash. So that was half a cup of that butter, and then I'm gonna splash in just some plain milk. And now we mix, friends. 
We mix it all together. Does anybody else just kind of slip into an accent sometimes? <laughs> you just don't know where it comes from and it just happens. I don't know if that's a unique problem or not. But... I don't know. I mean, you have that problem. I'm surprised you didn't say anything about it when I asked. <laughs> Well, I was putting myself on blast. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and guys, you're just going to have to mix it together. I mean... Hi, Gina. Hi, Gina! <laughs> We're making... Oh my god. Uh, chocolate and peanut butter no-bake cookies. I'm like staring straight at it and I'm like, wait, what is this called again? Alright. Oh man, these are going to be chocolatey. Yeah, so we put a lot of carrot powder in there to counteract that. You can always add more peanut butter if it's too, like, chocolatey for you or the flavor is off. But yeah, I think... Yeah, so when you start mixing it together, it's obviously going to clump. You definitely want it to clump. If it's not clumping and it's still really dry, just add a dash more of, like, the um, either the butter or the milk. And then that should help to make it kind of, you know stick together because what we're going to do next is we're going to form them into obviously like balls or patties however you like to eat this honestly guys i could just take a spoon to this right now and just freaking eat the whole thing but we're not going to do that no <laughs> mary we're not doing that okay so you get your little pan and then you can put parchment paper on there Hi, Karen! Um, so you can use parchment paper, grab your little sheet, and then we're gonna go ahead and just start making these into balls. Um, do you wanna keep your ring on? Or no. Have you washed your hands? Because I did. I did, but I'll wash them again because I've touched other stuff. Alright. So, yeah. Alright, guys. I know we said we were gonna make like a dinner tonight, but y'all we we ended up having kind of a late lunch So we're like, you know what? <laughs> Dessert <laughs> what can we do? Episode. It's gonna be no big cookies again because we love that. Well, not again because we haven't done it on live, but Which is surprising. Because I know because this, this is, is one, one of the our, like, like OG recipes that we your, got. Like, wonderful yes. Oh, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Sure. It's just a journey. We've tried so many new recipes yeah. and we end up finding ones that we just truly love and we go back to it every single time. Like we ate the crap out of that spinach bake. We ate that like oh. all the time. That's a good like wintery fall recipe For I sure. feel. Yeah. But it gets kind of heavy in the summer. Yeah. Know? I think that's why I kind of like, I didn't fall out of love with it but just not eating it as much. We well, were making we used to, it like weekly. Yeah, we used to eat it every week. Mm -hmm. Like that was one of our like Staple meals recipes, that was in rotation yeah. like weekly. <laughs> but surprisingly, we have not gotten tired of chickpea salad or burrito bowls. No, no way. That's just not possible. possible. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, one recipe. Uh, sorry, one uh, ingredient that I forgot to put in here was salt. And I'm sorry, <laughs> but salt goes in there as well. Uh, wanna, without yeah. salt, no, it's okay. Yes. No. We should, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> there's salt in the peanut butter. <laughs> My bad, y'all, but they're still gonna be delicious. So just remember, add a dash of salt. And that's, you know, a lot of people do that a lot with recipes anyway, just add salt. But if you're watching your sodium intake. <laughs> That's true. Gina says put salt in it. You know, we're already like halfway through though. I'm just gonna commit. <laughs> I'm committing to no salt. Okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna be stubborn. Yep. <laughs> Cause I think, you know what? Oh no guys, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm so good. And see, when you're in your own kitchen and you're <laughs> No one else is eating these besides us. If you caught that, I said no one else is eating these besides us. <laughs> if you're just joining us. <laughs> Gina says, runs in the family. Yep. <laughs> that stubbornness. We know what we want. <laughs> we know what we want. LOL. Oh, that is really good though. I'm excited. 
Like I said, guys, you can just eat this with a spoon. You don't even have to really freeze them or anything. Because what we're going to do next after we like make them into balls, we're just going to take the sheet. And if you want to wait a super long amount of time and you want to you know, put it in the fridge where it'll get solid overnight, you can do that. But I'm an impatient bitch and I need it like immediately. So I put it in the freezer. <laughs> We'll put it in the freezer for like, just let it what, like wait 30 for, minutes. Yeah, just wait for like 30 minutes or mm -hmm. like two hours or so. Just so, Basically, the longer they're in the fridge, the more... More congealed yeah, they're more, gonna be. Yeah, more congealed. The more like... Solidified. I don't, yeah, solidified. That's a good one. Boom. Solidified they're going to be. Um, yeah, so that is up to you. <laughs> However... Solidify at your discretion. You like Gonna walk past that one. Just gonna. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna melt, melt. However solid the cookie you want it to be, you do that. I think you have the final one. This is not gonna make a big enough cookie. Yes, it will. We have a crisis. I guess you just have to eat that one. Oh wait, no. Wait. 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 Oh. I'll just. It's <laughs> not working. <laughs> Alright fam. Oh my god. Well, okay, so this is what it looks like. So after you ball them up, they're just gonna be right here on the pan. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take it, and I'm not gonna do it right at this second because I have this all over my hands. But you're just gonna take the pan, put it in your freezer, or in you know on the shelf in your fridge, and you let them cool. Essentially, it takes, if you put it in the, fr uh, the freezer, it's going to take like 30 minutes to 45 minutes, super fast. If you put it in the um, refrigerator, it probably would take a few hours. But um, yeah, guys, <laughs> that's the super easy recipe. You can also get fancy with this and, you know, do almond butter instead of peanut butter. Hi, Stacy. <laughs> um, you could add in, you know, like dried fruits if you wanted, Hi, like... Like raisins or cranberries, or you can add like blueberries and do like a like a breakfast bar. That's also a, a really good way. When I have chocolate protein, I put like chocolate protein in with mixed in, and then like you know they're they're protein balls, so you can do that as well, and they're so good. Um, but yeah, guys, we love hanging out with you. Thanks for coming and watching our goofball video, of making these freaking no bake cookies, and they're so good. Um, we hope that you guys have an awesome night and make sure to like and subscribe our YouTube channel, The Weibles Speaking Kitchen. W E I B E L. That's how you spell that last name <laughs> because people don't know. Um, but yeah, go like and subscribe to our channel and watch us, you know, do this. Uh, we love you so much and have a wonderful evening. We'll catch you next Wednesday. Bye.